look at these renders. You would probably think that the only way to achieve that level of details is by spending hours or even days of hard surface modeling or by sculpting them using ZBrush. But you might be surprised that, in fact, it's not the modeling that gave all that amazing results. It's the magic of highly detailed materials, or in this case, substance materials. Thanks to the development in texture creation programs such as Substance Designer, a new market has been created. A market where you can create, buy, and sell textures and materials. There are two approaches to use Substance Materials, either creating them from scratch using Substance Designer, but that will take a lot of time and efforts to learn the program and practice doing that. Or you could download pre-made materials and adjust the settings to achieve the results you want. Since we are on this channel more interested in architectural visualization and most of us have no time to create all the needed materials, we will use the second approach because it's much faster with great results. What's up guys, hope you are all doing well. In this video you will learn general information about substance materials, what is the best resources to download substance materials, how to load substance materials into 3ds Max and how to convert them to V-Ray or Corona materials, how to use Substance Player which is a free software to view and edit substance materials and how to export them into normal PBR materials. And finally, we are going to see an example on how to use substance materials. And of course, I'm going to share a collection of high quality substance materials for you to try. Link in the description below. Now, without further ado, let's start the tutorial. Let's start with the question. What are substance materials? Well, usually we use image texture based materials, meaning you are limited to what information stored on the textures. You get only one material with no variation, no flexibility, and with a specific texture resolution. In substance, it's a different system called procedural textures, meaning you have full control over any texture. For example, if you want a leather material, you can control the color of the leather, the style of the stitching, the density of the pattern, the degree of wear and aging of the material, the output resolution, and many more properties. So, it is one material with many variations. Each material has parameters allowing you to adjust it the way you want. Of course, a procedural texture is better than an image texture, in the same way a vector graphic is better than a raster image. However, an image texture has advantages too. Sometimes, a scene using image textures can be finished in under an hour versus a procedural workflow might take days to finish. Now let's take a look at Substance softwares. Firstly, we have Substance Designer, which quickly became the industry standard for creating custom materials. Substance Designer gives you completely control to create materials from scratch in node-based environment. You can design tileable textures and patterns and edit complete textured sets. Substance Painter, on the other hand, gives you the ability to paint in 3D. It's like Photoshop but for materials. You can adjust the materials, add more details, add special effects, and many other cool features. Substance Alchemist is the latest software from Substance allows you to create collections of materials by combining and tweaking existing resources, or by building a new materials from photos and high-risk scans. You can craft a specific catalog of materials from real-world references, or simply experiment until you find results you love. In short, Alchemist is great for combining 3D materials and for transforming 2D images into 3D materials. Substance Source, simply, it's a material library, contains thousands of customizable materials. Finally, Substance Player, which is a free software allows you to view and adjust the settings for Substance materials. Now, let's talk about the best place to find and download Substance materials. And of course, the first website that offers Substance materials will be Substance Source. 
Substance Source is a library containing thousands of substance materials. You can easily navigate between them, preview them, and download them. Each material contains multiple presets, so you can download the material and choose the presets that you want. Substance Source library is not free. You need to subscribe to a plan which will offer you all the Substance software such as Substance Beta, Alchemist, Substance Designer, and access to Substance Source. When you get a license, that will give you points, and with that points, you can download the materials. The second place to find substance materials is ArtStation. There are thousands of artists creating substance materials and share them on ArtStation. You can find them by typing SPSAR on the search and find an artist and of course go to the store and there you can find all the assets that he's selling and buy them. Sometimes you will find a very high detailed materials that is very hard to create and it will take you days to create and a lot of efforts so it will be a good idea to buy them and adjust them the way you want instead of creating them from scratch you can find a lot of materials that worth buying so you can buy it and use it in multiple projects the third option is to go to Gumroad and search for SPSAR you can find great materials and great deals on Gumroad. I will leave all the websites link in the video description, so definitely check them out. I've shared all these high quality substance materials for free on my Patreon page, so that you can download them and practice with me if you want. Now let's talk about how to view and edit substance material. We need to download Substance Player which is a free software allows you to view and edit substance materials and also for the substance materials we need the file with the extension of SPSAR because this is the extension that we can use in 3ds Max now after downloading and installing substance player you can preview any, any substance material just double click on it and it will open with substance player now this is what happened when you open a substance material using substance player. You will get a preview for the material and preview for all the maps. So on the upper left corner, you can preview the maps as base color, normal map, roughness map, metallic, high map, etc. Now if you want to change the presets of the materials, go to the upper right corner, there's presets, click on it and Choose one of the pre-made presets. Let's choose for example purple and silver lining and it's, it's immediately changed the material. As you can see you have full control over all the parameters. For example I can change the maps resolution so if I want 4k maps I can choose 4k and as you can see immediately all the details became very visible or if I want to lower the resolution I can also change it and you can see that in the preview now i will not explain all the parameters here because that will take a lot of time and i prefer to do it inside 3ds max okay let's assume that you want to convert this procedural textures or this substance material to image based textures you can easily do that by going to export and choose export as bitmaps you can change the format, for example, you can choose JBG. You can choose the needed maps. So for example, you can choose only diffuse map or you can choose all the maps. Select the folder that you want your textures to be in. Select folder, give them a name and hit export. And by that you have convert a substance material or a procedural textures into an image based texture of course i will not recommend this way you have lost all the control over your textures you cannot edit or adjust any of the parameters okay so that was the way if you want to preview substance material using substance player but now i will show you how to use any substance material inside tds max directly without the need to convert them or even the need to use substance player so let's see how to do that Let's go back to Substance website, go to Products, Ecosystem and Plugins, click on it, scroll down to 3ds Max, 
click learn more and now you must select the uh, 3ds max version that you are working on as you can see this is only compatible with 3ds max 2018 and higher in my case i have already downloaded and installed the plugin it's easy and straightforward installation so no need to explain it let's open 3ds max and see how the plugin works now i've opened this simple scene and we are going to see how to apply substance materials on it first thing to notice after installing the substance plugin now we have substance tab up here let's choose the materials that we are going to apply on this scene i will choose this material and also this one okay after decided i will go back to max hit m for material slot editor right click maps general and choose substance 2 don't choose substance without number because this is an old map choose substance 2 okay now if you can see if you select the map we have load substance so select it choose the materials so this one concrete random and i will open the second one also right click maps general substance 2 select the second one now if you double click on substance map you can see now we have all the options that we have already saw in substance player so we have all the parameters to adjust and also we have the substance presets let's open the map and see the preview substance presets so this one as you can see if you double click on any presets that will automatically update your map also we are going to change the resolution to 4k or even you can choose an 8k resolution but this is will be too much for this scene i'm going to use 4k resolution okay this map also has presets black dirty color for plastic dark gray or gray i will keep it on gray white okay after adjusting the resolution and all the presets and if you want to play with the with some parameters you can do also now we are going to convert them to v-ray materials or corona materials simply just select the map you want for example this map substance map and go to substance plugin and choose substance to v-ray you can do this also to multiple materials or multiple maps select them all substance substance to vlay we got this vlay material let's choose move to the and this material very easy and very simple way to convert substance material or substance map to vlay material now let's apply them to our scene drag it drop the scene drag it drop it to the wall can, you can press M on the keyboard to open and close the material editor let's change the view to default shading ok so we have this is our maps now if you want to change the presets after applying the materials you can do that also open the material editors select the map you want substance map and change the presets as you can see it's updated automatically in the viewport Make sure to adjust the resolution after editing the substance map. Okay, that's all for this scene. Of course, make sure to add V-Ray Displacement Modifier and check on Use Object Materials so that the V-Ray Displacement Modifier will use the displacement map from Substance Material. Now, let's see the render. So this is before and let's hit render. okay so the render had been finished let's zoom in and as you can see all these crazy details from the material only so we have a plane literally a plane modeling but all the details from the material this is really impressive let's compare so this is before and this is after
And by that we have reached to the end of this tutorial, I hope you have find it useful. Support me on Patreon to get access to a huge library of 3D models, scenes, and of course, substance materials. Don't forget to smash like and share this video with your friends that will help the channel a lot. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. That's it for this video, see you in the next one. Take care, bye bye.